Hey guys, I'm uploading fine. This is Ankit Bhatia and welcome back to my channel. Now, now I know that you have been waiting for so long for me to make tutorials for you and I've been waiting too as well. But now this is my new studio I built in. It took me so much time. I shifted to a new place and now there's going to be a lot more videos related to tutorials and style videos as well. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's start it with the new topic. Today we're going to cover that one topic. I think that is you're going to use in your videos if you if you know that I am deadly sure by the end of the video you would want to use this so today's topic is how to create a glow effect on your face in your videos you know this is the thing that I've been using like for so long in my videos if you have subscribed to my channel you would know that I have been using this technique and some of you have asked me as well like how do you create this glow effect and today is the day we're gonna learn that so for photos you know we know that like how to create that glowy effect on your face you can pick up any healing tool and then you can create a smooth glowy effect but with videos it's a little bit different whatever i tell you there is a way and i know that how to create that look in two seconds you can see the difference i think you can see that right so if you're watching the video in full hd full screen you will know the difference before and after you will be seeing a glowy effect on my face i'm just like gonna come closer so that's what we're gonna learn today so let's go to the premiere pro and i'll tell you how i do it so the way i do is i have this plugin in premiere pro which is beauty box i just go to the effects panel and search here beauty box and just drag it on my clip so let's say this is my clip so let me do the full screen so let's say this is the face which is already looking good <laughs> i'm just gonna go and drag this beauty box onto the clip and that's it it's done but it's not looking natural it's just too much so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and set the amount to let's say around 15 and set the smoothening to around 20 i'm just gonna do the 50 percent of what i've applied the effect and let's say this is 50. so let me show you before and after so this is before this is after the change is really very minimal but you can see the diff you can see that it's just looking so smooth right now after applying the effect and you can also add the color as well let's say i want to set the particular color okay click on the image and set the color so you can select the particular color and you can see that this is dark color this is light color so this so only on these colors it will apply the effect you can change the color as well and let's say you can select from here as well so that's how you will know that it's applying only this one and now after setting this i'll go to the sharpen and i'll set the amount to 10 because I want to sharp the image as well so that's it that's it's done it's done and there are also preset as well you can just apply the preset let's say smooth skin light so it's gonna adjust automatically it's gonna just do that everything you don't need to do anything but I don't use this I just set it to none and that's it so this is before this is after see let me do the full screen so you can see that this is so soft but I mean it's not looking natural so again you can set the value to around 10 or 15 and decrease this value to around 20 and then increase the contrast to around 50 and that's it it's gonna look natural so let me show you side by side so i've already created this side by side now you can see that okay let me play this for you see how it's soften the edges here the left one is the original one and the right one is with the effect so that's how i use it and i know that it's so easy to use it but i'm not trying to promote the plugin here because this plugin is actually not free you have to go to the website and download it from the digital anarchy but you can try the free demo as well and you know any other way we can do without this plugin and let's say there's another way to do it in premium pro for free so let me know in the comments below i'll i'll go through all of the comments and try that if it's possible and i'll pin your comment on the top so other people would see that it's actually free but till now 
I use this plugin and that's how I do it. It's just so easy. Within two seconds, I just drag and drop the effect and it's done. And this plugin is also available for photos as well. Like in Photoshop, you can install this plugin from the website. I'll mention the link in the description. You can get it. So that's what I use it. But I mean, <laughs> the use is great. I don't know any other way. So that's how that's how I do it and my voice must not be sounding good right now because it's echoing right now I've not installed the sound panels in this room you know I want to install the white sound panels in this room but I'm not able to get it yet but still I'm gonna find it and my audio will get better with time but till then keep enjoying my tutorials and I'll see you next time till then take care bye bye peace